when we talked about the comparison between a traditional approach where all this biomass was swimming and in our solution we had four times as many but it's all attached very few are swimming actually like a fraction uh, a small small fraction so compared to the let's say 16 kilos of biomass in a, in a cubic meter in our case you have only like 0.15 kilograms that's swimming, everybody else is attached. The importance comes in the, in the fact that in, um, when you blow the air into the reactors, the efficiency uh, from the bubbles of the oxygen transfer into, into the water uh, depends on how clean the water is. By definition, you, in clean water, drinking water, that efficiency is one, this is by, by agreement. So the oxygen transfer coefficient is considered one when, when there is no suspended solids in the water. Uh, the dirtier your water be will become, the less efficient that oxygen transfer will become. In a traditional uh, approach, when you have four kilos swimming, that oxygen transfer efficiency coefficient is about 0.6, just roughly. And, uh, and as the density increases, the, that efficiency decreases, obviously. Uh, because, as I mentioned, you know, all of our biomass, this increased biomass, is all attached, and very few of them are swimming, that means that we can achieve an oxygen transfer coefficient of about 0 0.9, 0 0.95. That in and of itself, if you compare it to 0 0.6, that explains why the energy efficiency of these systems are at least 30-35% better. Once we introduce all these various species, uh, automatically come higher and higher level of organisms. So it's not only bacteria, but it's also uh, you know, high level organism who will feed on bacteria, as you can see on this one. How do we select the plants? We get these questions all the time. Uh, we select the plants based on their root mass and their root structure, uh, for obvious reasons, after all of what I've explained. And, uh, and interestingly, we never have to ship plants across borders. The plant kingdom is extremely rich, and the equivalent uh, uh, species will be always found in, uh, in the lo local uh, plant suppliers. Uh, in addition to the plant, the, the root structure and the root mass, what's also important that as the plants will form part of different ecosystems, because we are talking about a series of ecosystems, as you will see in a minute, uh, it's important how various species uh, adapt to the various uh, conditions. Uh, you know, certain plants will hate when there is a lot of ammonia in the water, certain plants will love that, certain plants like when there is a lot of dissolved oxygen, and certain plants uh, won't mind if there is very little or none.